Hello, this is Alex from Diamond Arm. First off, read this disclaimer carefully. So let's look at the forex market. Specifically, the US dollar slash Brazil real currency pair. So the interesting thing about forex is that there are so many pairs out there that you will always be able to find some bull market, clear bull market, and also very clear bear markets. So it is very flexible, it is extremely liquid, which is also very beneficial. And in this uh, lower portion here, here you can see the, st the statistical correlation between this forex pair and the S&P 500. So you can see here that during this period there was an extremely low negative correlation meaning they moved more or less opposite each other. During this phase, yeah, there was a very very strong correlation, actually yeah, approaching like 90% correlation between the pair. Uh, so the way forex pairs work is that this is US dollar slash Brazil real, meaning when this chart goes up, it means that the US dollar strengthened vis-a-vis -vis the Brazil real. That's and during the Corona panic we've seen recently, you can see that um, the U.S. dollar has strengthened very substantially versus the vis-a-vis uh, -vis the Brazil real. If I measure this rally here, this is 18%. Okay, so that's an opportunity. Okay, so in the forex market, there's there's possibilities, uh, and um, you could certainly certainly make the case that. This rally here in the US dollar, it's been very aggressive. If you look at the RSI indicator here, it tells us you know, whether the way it is interpreted it, is that it, it, it's whether we've gone too far up or too far down. So when the RSI is within this purple zone, we it's sort of like it's a normal uh, range. But when it goes above, we can say that okay, it's gone too far. Too fast. If it goes below, you can you make, can make the case that we have an oversold condition. Of course, there's not a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship, meaning here we, we had a high RSI, but the price is still rose a bit. Here we have a high RSI, but then we actually do see a very substantial decline. So there is a link, but it's not perfect. But this is one potential place. So let's look at some history. A very interesting period to look at would be the financial crisis, you know, the previous bear market, caused by the housing bubble. So the financial crisis, it was from 2000, mid-ish 2007 uh, to until May, it was March 2009. And you can see here that during mid-2008, all the way up here to uh, December-ish 2008, there was a very sharp rally in the US dollar. The reason, of course, is that, okay, even though there was a bear market in the USA, the bear market was worse in Brazil. So that's how you have to view forex. The, the fact that the US dollar has been strengthening here does not mean that America is this, uh, you know, bulletproof economy. No, it means that it is stronger than Brazil. And that's the funny thing about Forex. There's, that, that, there's always, always these funny correlations, and uh, yeah, it's very, very interesting. And the benefit of having a more diversified portfolio, some forex, some bonds, some stocks, maybe even some options, some commodities, is that you are able to uh, diversify yourself and diversify your risk. Because you don't have all your eggs in one basket. So some are going to go up, some are going to go down, and if you do it very intelligently, you can actually design a portfolio which is market neutral. So it is market neutral as far as, as an example, the US dollar. So it's not the contingent on that going up or down. It can also be market neutral vis-a-vis -vis the stock market or the bond market or, or 
the commodity market, you know. So that's um, of course is very good because it can give you some peace of mind. Because there's been just too much panic in the stock market. It's been extremely emotional and that um, can quickly become self-reinforcing. When I went out shopping today, I saw it was like Armageddon, you know, there, was, there were people have just been holding breads, uh, vegetables, you name it, it was ridiculous. Um, I mean, it looked like, like, I, li you know, I live in Norway and it looked like some war zone. It was extreme. And that's human psychology, psychology you know, the same people just a freaking week back were acting like normal people. But now, all of that rationality just goes out the window. And that's definitively something we have seen in the stock market. Pure panic. This is why it is extremely beneficial to be diversified. Diversified does not simply mean that, oh, I have some stocks uh, from different companies or different sectors. That's one part of diversification, but true diversification is to have a market neutral portfolio. That is the, you know, the holy grail. So whatever you do, of course, going forward, you want to let the trend be your friend. You want to think rationally. You want to plan ahead. And let's restate the most important thing. Let the trend be your friend.